Greetings Massive and today we are on a river with my two friends the Milia and the Mal <laughs> Brother and sisters, yes <laughs> A long time friend from NCU, how are you doing guys? Uh, it's been a long time, it's been a CU <laughs> yes. Oh Hello. yes, it's been a while guys, a long for sooner too The twins, brothers and sisters, yeah you guys are twins right? Uh, yes yeah, we man, are we are twins and the Milia <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, um, I really really remember some great times um, in college. Whoa, you guys have grown. Yes, we've grown. And you've grown too. Easy, you. Anyway, we're here yeah. in the parish of St. Mary. The Banana oh, Parish is, is the final parish in the county of Middlesex that we are showcasing on Discovery. Yeah, the final parish. Yes, wow. the final parish in the county Ooh. of Middlesex. So we're here. Uh, but see and, the best um, mm -hmm. You guys are going to help me with this video. Are you ready? We're ready. 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 Yes, man. <laughs> Long time. Yeah, man. All right, we're going to do it now. She's excited. St. Mary. <laughs> Let's go! Audio jungle. Named after Princess Mary, daughter of King George V of England, the parish of St. Mary was established in 1867. Its highest point, its Mount Telegraph, standing at 4,265 feet or 1,300 meters above sea level. Its lowest point is along the coast. The largest city and capital is Port Maria, Jamaica's 22nd largest city. The geographical size of St. Mary stands at 611.3 square kilometers square or 236.0 square mile, making it the 10th largest parish geographically in Jamaica. The population of St. Mary stands at 114,227 residents from a 2023 data, making it the 8th most populous parish. St. Mary as its parish shield used by the St. Mary Municipal Corporation. The history of St. Mary goes back to the days of the Taina or the Arawak presence in Jamaica. St. Mary was also one of the first section of the island to be occupied by the Spaniards. Porto Santa Maria was the second town the Spaniards built on the island in 1655 after the English captured Jamaica from the Spanish the north coastal town of Santa Maria became known as Port Maria Fort Haldane was built in 1759 to protect the strategic harbor of Port Maria from Spanish raids it was also used as a garrison to keep the enslaved and working classes of St. Mary under control it was named after General George Haldane, then Governor of Jamaica. St. Mary's present size was determined in 1867 when the parish of Metcalf was merged with St. Mary. So we just pull up here at the world famous James world Van Beach, James Van home Beach, of Dr. Lowe. Yes, <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, so Hello, Travis. What have you guys been up to these days? More school, work, and thing. Yeah, more school. So, is it you guys going for your doctorate? Or doctorate? Or no, he's not yet. 
Go for the masters. Masters, oh. Yeah. Same thing for you, but it was the man. Same thing? Yes, man, the same thing for me, too, bro. Yes, man. You know, they always true, though. <laughs> the real never do that, you know. The always, every time this one, the always together, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah always together. Like that, <laughs> anyway, we are going to come out of this. Oh, yeah, come out of the wood. Oh, 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 let me lift you up. Let me give you an arm. Oh, let me lift you up. Well, just be careful, you know, bro. Careful with the system, bro. Mind a girl, too. Yeah, here's your waistline. Feel good, though. But here, you know. Travis, we can't believe you. Oh, yes. Oh, You're keeping the sugar right now. How tall are you? I'm 5'8". Five 5'8"? Eight. Five yeah. eight. Oh, yes, wow. bro, she's tall, man. Tall. Is it? <laughs> tall enough for a female. Oh, yes, the mm-hmm. ideal Yes, is it too tall? Yeah, it's been high girl. I love my girl. Yeah, they're tall. Too. We are love. <laughs> yes, she's tall. No wonder girl. why you have a tall girlfriend. Anyway, yes, I like, yeah, I like tall girls. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, guys. We are about uh, to get okay, into the video see. and the Malia. Yes, oh, Travis. Things for us. Is that okay, okay with you, girl? Okay, sweetie. No problem. All right, Slimaz. <laughs> The parish of St. Mary is located in the northwestern section of Jamaica, between the parishes of Portland to the east and St. Anne to the west. St. Mary is located in the county of Middlesex, which is shared with four other parishes. These are St. Anne to the west, St. Catherine to the southwest, Clarendon to the far southwest, and Manchester to the far southwest. St. Mary has four neighboring parishes. These are Portland to the east, St. Andrew to the southeast, St. Catherine to the southwest, and St. Anne to the west. The parish of St. Mary has two major mountain ranges. These are the Governor's Hill to the west, and the Blue Mountain to the east. The parish also have the Wog Water Valley that stretches from the north to the center of the parish. St. Mary has three major rivers. These are the White River to the west, which it shares with St. Anne, stretching along the border with that parish. The Rio Nueva in the center, and in the south and east is the Wog Water River. For this video, we divide the parish into three regions. And they are Eastern St. Mary, Central St. Mary, and Western St. Mary. So we'll start things in the east, right? And we begin in Anato Bay. Yes, the town of Anato Bay stands at 5 1,504 residents from a 2023 data. It is the only town of its size in this region of the parish that we'll be talking about today in the eastern region. Anato Bay was once named Guaya Guata by the Tainos. It is named from the abundance of the Anato trees in the area. Anato Bay is known to be the crossroads between the south coast and the north coast. It is where the A3 meets the A4 highway. Anato Bay is home to the Anato Bay High School. Further south of Anato Bay along the A3 road is the villages of Castleton and Broadgate. And that's Eastern St. Mary for you. Travis, back to you. All right, slim chick, the million million. Uh, I'm gosh, gonna do my work. Yo, the man. <laughs> yes, dude. man. Ready, ready man. Ready. Section. Take us into ready, Central St. Mary, man. <laughs> All right, Central St. Mary for owners. <laughs> Home to a combined population of just over 1,500 residents, Highgate and Cuff Gully in St. Mary are two towns that can be found in the hills of St. Mary overlooking Port Maria. The town has an open air market and a clock tower. Highgate is home to SNG Farms Limited, one of the producers of some of the island's best cow's milk. Highgate is home to the St. Mary High School, while Cuff Gully is home to the Cocoa Industrial Board and the St. Mary Technical High School. 
The town of Port Maria stands at 7,906 residents from a 2023 data. And like Chavez said before, it is the 22nd largest city in Jamaica. Port Maria is the largest town in St. Mary. It is the capital of St. Mary. Originally called Porto Santa Maria, it was the second town established by Spanish settlers in Jamaica. The ruins of Fort Haldane, built in 1759, overlook the town. Port Maria is known for the St. Mary Parish Church, a very historic building built in 1861, and the St. Mary Courthouse, a Georgian structure built in 1820, which now houses the Port Maria Civic Center. Jamaica's first Prime Minister, Alexander Bustamante, was put on trial four months later with Frank Pixley at the courthouse in 1947. They were acquitted. Port Maria do has some beaches even though it is not a resort town. It is more of a fishing town. Cabarita Island sits just off the coast of Port Maria in the Port Maria Bay. It is a sanctuary for many birds and various other species. Port Maria is home to the River Vale High School as well as the privately owned Port Maria Preparatory and High School. About five miles to the north of Port Maria is the town of Galena. Galena is known for its famous lighthouse, the Galena Lighthouse. Galena is also the home of the Noel Coward's famous home, Firefly. The Firefly Estate is a major tourist attraction in St. Mary. And that's the little match on Central St. Mary. Travis, your turn. Time to head oh, west, right? Right, the mall. Yes, we head into the bougie part of the parish. Yes, the tourist part. This is where the tourism at for St. Mary. And we begin in Boscobel and Oracobessa. Both Oracobessa and Boscobel combined we have a population of just over 5,100 residents, according to a 2023 data. Now, St. Mary, for some time now, has been known as Jamaica's poorest parish. Well, I'm not sure about that now in 2023, but this part of the parish, Western St. Mary, and in particular, Boscobel, Oracobessa, and Tower Isle is the wealthiest part of the parish, believe it or not. This is where most of the resort and the tourism is at and you know tourism is jamaica's main industry major resorts guest houses and hotels that can be found within the area is golden clouds visit bar at golden eye resort rica vista pineapple cove resort and beaches ocho rios you heard that right <laughs> yes beaches ocho rios a part of the Ocho Rios city limit extends into St. Mary that touches Boscobel. Hence the reason why the Ian Fleming International Airport is located in Boscobel. The Ian Fleming International Airport is an Ocho Rios based airport, however, it's located in St. Mary. The combined area is home to the Oracobessa High School. Just to the west of Boscobel and east of Ocho Rios, is the town of Tower Isle. Tower Isle is known for its exotic Ocho Rios resorts. Major resorts and attractions that can be found in Tower Isle is Hill Sea View Villa Resort, Zayani Boutique Resort, Rio Nuevo Beach, Couples Tower Isle, The Waves Resort, and Reggae Beach. Tower Isle is home to the Iona High School home to a population of 3,305 residents. Gale is a quiet town in southern St. Mary, a very hilly town. The town is mostly a farming town, growing crops such as bananas, coffees, coconut, and much more. Gale is home to the Taki High School. And before we leave this segment of the video, I must point out that James Bond Beach is located in Oracobessa. James Bond Beach is known for the famous Dr. No movie that was filmed in 1957 on location at James Bond Beach. The James Bond series was once directed by filmmaker Ian Fleming, after whom the Boscobel Airdrome was renamed. Oh my word, I thought Western St. Mary had never done. Yes, this is really awesome. Yes, Travis, is it? Western St. Mary got it all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Girl. 
What you been up to? Bouncing and drawing and all sort of stuff. <laughs> and I check you out too. Checking me out. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. Yo, check out your brother. Yo, going my on. Out Yo, the man. Yo, the man. Come in, man. Come in. 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 Come for years, St. Mary has been known as the poorest parish in Jamaica. Well, in recent years, a lot of that has changed. The economy of the parish have improved over the past two decades or so. Gone are the days when banana used to be the primary industry in St. Mary. The banana industry have dwindled in recent years. Now comes tourism, the parish's largest economy. And with the opening of the Ian Fleming International Airport in Boscobel, yes, helps to pump tourism into the parish. Tourism pumps 43% into the economy of St. Mary. The banana industry, which is a part of agriculture, is St. Mary's second largest economy. For years, St. Mary has been known to grow the most bananas in Jamaica. St. Mary is one of the top banana producing parishes along with Portland, St. Thomas, and St. Andrew. Outside of bananas, St. Mary produces coffee. It's one of the top coffee producing parishes. Yes, some of the world famous Blue Mountain coffee are grown on the St. Mary side of the Blue Mountains. Other crops also include pineapple, cassava, and many others. Livestock rearing is also a big part of St. Mary's agriculture. Agriculture comes 20% into the St. Mary economy. Other notable industries in St. Mary includes fishing, sand quarrying, and textile, which altogether pumps 15% into the St. Mary economy. Notable companies in St. Mary includes Jamaica Producers Limited, JP Limited, Makers of St. Mary banana chips, yes, the famous St. Mary banana chips, <laughs> and S&G Limited. The island of Jamaica has 63 political constituencies represented by a member of parliament in Garden House or the House of Representatives. The parish of St. Mary has three of those constituencies. The constituencies are St. Mary Southeast, St. Mary Central, and St. Mary Western. In the 2020 general elections, the ruling Jamaica Labour Party won two of these constituencies, while the PNP winning one. Oh, okay, bro. Well, now we get to the road and infrastructure, and I'll take you through it. The parish of St. Mary has three classes of roads. A, B, and C roads. The A3 highway enters the parish from St. Andrew at Devon Pan and then exit the parish back into St. Andrew and then about a mile later re-enter re the parish of St. Mary just south of the Castleton Botanical Gardens through Tom's River and all the way up to Castleton where it meets the A4 as a junction road and then continues northwest as the northern coastal highway through Port Maria to Galena all the way through Tower Isle where it exits the parish for Ocherius in St. Anne. The A4 highway enters the parish of St. Mary from Portland in Dover as the northern coastal highway through Onata Bay all the way to Castleton where it meets the A3 highway. The B2 road enters the parish from St. Catherine at Troja through Cuff Gully and Highgate all the way to Whitehall where it meets the A3 highway. 
there's roughly 12 sea roads webbed out in this map across the parish in green. In terms of transportation, the parish of St. Mary is home to the Ian Fleming International Airport OCJ. OCJ mostly handles domestic flights, mainly from Kingston, Montego Bay, and Negril, as well as inter-Caribbean flights from Havana in Cuba and as far as Port of Spain in Trinidad. In the near future, flights from the United States and Canada will be added to the system. Like all other parishes, the Banana Parish, St. Mary, has its share of people of diverse groups. Yes, from Blacks or African, to Caucasians, to Asian or Chinese, to Indians, the Parish of St. Mary shows a lot in culturally diverse groups. The Parish of St. Mary is 86% Blacks or Africans. 7% Chinese or Asian, 4% Indian, 2.1% White or Caucasian, and 1.9% Other. Like all other parish, Blacks or African is the majority ethnic group. Yeah! Like any other parish, nation, state, county, prefecture, or province, the parish of St. Mary has its share of famous faces. Yeah, man. These famous faces shines bright on the international and local stages. People such as Roots Dancehall artist Tanya Stevens, Roots Dancehall artist Capleton, Minister Marion Hall, formerly Lady Saw, Beresford Hammond, artist, Georgiana Robertson, supermodel, dancehall artist Ninja Man, Aileen Bailey, Olympian, Beverly McDonald, athlete, Christine Day, athlete, Lisa Hanna, former Miss World and the former government minister, Robert Montague, government minister, and comedian. Oliver Samuels, just to name a few. So we are here at the Firefly Estate. Uh, Z, see that nice bro. behind me? What yeah, like it. <laughs> yeah, man. What a parish nice, isn't it? Why? Yeah, I tell you, the it's a real man. parish. <laughs> this I parish. I why people underestimate. This, this parish is one of them that has been overlooked, but I'm so glad it's getting the attention it needs now. Yes, and I yes. think yes, it's bro, well deserved. It we mm -hmm. have been labeled as a yes, poorest parish. Curious. I don't think we deserve that spot mm -hmm. at all. Yes, no, not at all. <laughs> I think great yeah, improvement have made have been made yes yes they have been yes for real over the, yes. Over the past years yes <laughs> yes you two it's are crazy. indeed right it's just to keep up the good work that have been happening in the parish over the past two oh, decades yes, you know? indeed, no turning bro, back no now. turning back <laughs> and we're not no going to turn back no indeed. friends and arrival coming up next <laughs> yes <laughs> yes it's friends time to see we said friends and arrivals wait so, the parish of St. Mary has its share of friends and rivals, yes? St. Mary has friends, but she also has a rival, a very close rival too, which has been good friends over the years, but somehow she become a rival, and it's because of one thing, this little guy right here, mm -hmm. the Ian Fleming International Airport, and you guess, you, you should know who I'm talking about by now, I'm talking about her neighbor to the west, St. Anne. <laughs> Listen to this, guys. Yo, boss, it I'm still vexed with you. You take on my airport. You take on my airport, boss. Me still vexed with you. How you feel label the airport when me have as a notorious airport when it's in Baskabel? Me just not understand. Me vexed with you. Yo, you know how hard me have to work to get that airport to international standard, to international airport status, and you. A person just come take it to it and I contact me say it's an ultra airport. It's an ultra airport. It's an ultra airport. Me not buy that. Me not dig that. <laughs> so explain that one day oh, to me. Oh Lord. Um, explain Saint that to me Saint Anne. Mary. Saint Mary. The banana parish. Yes, that's my name. You How much talk time up? I have to explain to you that mm. there's nothing to fear. 
We both uh, invented Sana? the drum. This airport, really? after all. Let me hear. It's simple fact that nobody knows Baskerbill. Liar, tell that people know Baskerbill. <laughs> and uh, part of Ocho Rios really? is still in you. You got, you still got about twenty percent of Ocho Rios. So, mm, what, well, what's you the big do deal, have a pint there Mary? still, now. Just okay. chill, girl. Being that may have twenty percent at Ocho. Yeah, just make live as one now. All right. Enjoy the benefits of this year. Right. Yeah. Huh? All right. <laughs> well, that didn't work out so bad after all, huh? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> So that is to show you, no matter how you see the rival that they have over this airport, mm -hmm, they're still friends, they do share a lot together. And this may surprise you, even though they're rivals, St. Anne is St. Mary's best friend. Yep, that's her lover. <laughs> St. Mary's other friend is her neighbor to the east, yes, Portland. Reason being, they share, they do share the coffee industry board together. These are two coffee producing parishes. Yes, they do share the Blue Mountain Range. The Blue Mountain National Park falls in both parishes along with St. Thomas too. Yes, so Portland, St. Mary and St. Thomas got a thing going on. And St. Andrew, these four parishes, these four parishes in the east have a thing going on with each other. But St. Mary and Portland are one-of-a-kind friends that will never, ever go to differ. And St. Mary's other friend is her neighbors. I mean, I say neighbor. It's neighbors, right? It's two of them together. Her neighbors to the south, Kingston and St. Andrew, where the nation's capital is. St. Mary depend on Kingston St. Andrew for commerce and manufacturing as well as many sectors. Many Kingston based businesses do uh, do business with businesses in St. Mary and farmers in St. Mary. So the business would come in from Kingston St. Andrew and the farm agriculture produce would go out from St. Mary into Kingston and St. Andrew. So the trade thing between both parishes is going on so well that we can't even explain more. It's the, the, the mere fact of the short matter to cut things short, Kingston and St. Andrew along with St. Mary are good friends. Yes, indeed. Wow, well, you know it's a first <laughs> Yo, I've ever seen you know. <laughs> where um, a parish's uh -huh. friends is also a rival. Yes, <laughs> it's <laughs> ironic. Yes, it's real, it's real. Um, Two of a kind, St. Mary and St. Oh, Andrew. Yes, indeed, yes. it's ironic indeed. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Indeed. so we have come to the end of the video. <laughs> The it's very done already? last parish in the county of Middlesex. We have completed, officially completed Middlesex. Completed. And that yes, is almost at the end <laughs> yep. of the Discovering Jamaica series. We just have three parishes to go. Yep. Is it three? I think so. Yeah. It's three. It, I don't yeah. know. A yes, three, bro. A three, three <laughs> But we are almost at the end. Um, it's been a great journey so far and coming here to St. Mary to see Unos. Whoa, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you guys since we <laughs> left You stayed away. That's what you said. <laughs> oh my that him do, yes. <laughs> Uno guys need to come spend some time in Mandeville with Certainly, me. Certainly. Yes, yes, I think that you come look for me in St. Yeah. Mary. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's, yeah, for real. It's fair. It's fair enough. <laughs> Bro, fair enough. All right, the Mal and the Millie. And that will be arranged. That's it for Discovering <laughs> Jamaica St. Yes. Mary. Hope you've learned a lot. I did. We did. Yes, we yes. did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we learned we a did. lot. This has yes, been discovering man. Jamaica. See you for the next parish. Bye, everyone. Yes, everyone. Thanks for being here. <laughs> this has been discovering Jamaica, where you get facts and details of all fourteen parishes. Up next, we go to the far east in completing the county of Surrey. Saint, Saint Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs>